Hey, we're here at Shushinkan Sake Brewery and we're gonna have some Japanese sake, Nihonshu. Let's go! Hey, it's Epi and we're here in Nada uh, area of Kobe and we're gonna check out one of the main sake breweries called Shushinkan here in Kobe. Kobe's Nara district is the top sake producing region in Japan. Quite a few uh, sake breweries that you can visit along uh, this area and this neighborhood. And many of them offer great interactive tours and tastings. February and March is Shinsu or new sake season, making it a great time to visit breweries. The ingredients of sake are rice and water. They are the first things needed for brewing good sake. This is actually the area where the rice is put to be washed and fermented and everything. The water from the nearby Roku Mountains, called Miyamizu, contains much phosphorus and potassium, which improves yeast activity. After polishing, the rice is washed and then soaked. The rice is then steamed. A batch of steamed rice is then split up with one batch sprinkled with koji mold and the other batch going directly to the fermentation tank. Yeast starters or shubo are made by adding water, steamed rice and yeast to produce koji. They play an important role in changing sugar into alcohol. Sake and sake sediments are separated, then filtered through bags by pressure in order to separate smaller sediments from the sake. So this here are the buckets they used to use, sake buckets, uh, before the modern uh, way of brewing sake, as you saw before, and these are so big. I walking right in it. It's pretty big. Uh, yeah, so it's very interesting to see how they used to make sake. So about 100 years ago, sake was stored and kept in these casks. The Kobe Shushinkan Brewery and its brand Fukuju is one of the more recognizable producers of the famed Nada region of Hyogo Prefecture. They've been family-owned for an impressive 13 generations. They have a shopping center as well as a bar. Uh, so here I'm going to try a few sakes I have today. And there are different types depending on how you uh, how it's processed, how much the rice is milled or polished on uh, different alcohol contents. So this first one I'm going to try is called Daiginjo. So this last uh, sample here is Junmai Nama. So this is pure rice wine. No alcohol is added. Kampai, you guys. I wish that you were here to try this out. Here you go, legendary Fukuju Kampai. So this is the sake that was given to the guests at the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony. So definitely something to try. I'm definitely buying some for home. This is one of the few that has a restaurant as well on the side of the brewery uh, and they can try traditional Japanese dishes. I had a great time here at Shinkan uh, Sake Brewery. Um, yeah, lots to do. There's a restaurant, there's a bar, there's a um, shopping to buy awesome sake that they've just brewed. 
Uh, I bought some here, so gonna enjoy that at home. If you uh, enjoy sake or you're curious about it, definitely come out here um, and make sure to try the uh, fukuju in particular. That sake is amazing. Just learn something new about the process of making sake here in Japan. Until next time you guys, I'll see you. And if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, click on the notifications for more videos and adventures. Until next time you guys, see you!